Hey, what is going on Clashers? Welcome back. Today we're going to work on maxing my Town Hall 10 account, but first I want to offer up a moment of silence for the one gem boost week. That's right, it is over. I got on this morning and pressed boost all barracks and it said 40 gems please. I was like, no thanks. So we're not going to boost today. We're going to try to get through without spending a ton of gems. So we're going to use Barb Archers and Minions. This is a very fast army, does not require boost and I would recommend it for you guys. Now that the boost week is over, you can get a lot of loot per hour using the Barb Archer Minion strategy. So we gotta dump some of this loot right now. Let's upgrade some walls, yeah! Upgrading walls is so fun. Uh, they're super expensive, so I don't get to do it very often, but there's one, two, I think we can do four total. I have some loot in my clan castle, which will help. Um, and we did have full gold, completely full gold, and almost completely full elixir. So let's dump out this loot from the clan castle and um, we should be able to do two more. That's going to put our total walls up to about 177, which is crazy. That's almost at 200. And once I get to 200, boom, I'm on the home stretch. I'm almost done. I really want to get these walls done, not really quickly, but fairly quickly because I want them to be done before Town Hall 11 comes out. When Town Hall 11 comes out, I don't expect there to be level 12 walls but I do expect there to be more walls I have a feeling they're gonna add 25 more walls with the next town hall level so I want to have all my current ones maxed then I can go forth and max the new ones if that is the case so here's how I uh, queue up my barb archers and minions I do three barracks of archers and one with barbs with the minions I just fill them up as much as I want I don't fill them up completely I usually do 10 to 15 so then I end up with about 20 to 30 minions that works best for me but you guys can fill them all the way up if you want you might end up with like 35 to 40 minions but that's also fine so let's look at a replay of a BAM raid I just did. This is the perfect base, except for these Teslas outside. Uh, this is a perfect base. This guy has these Teslas outside, which is very trolly. Really screws up the barch, but we're going to take them out just fine. And then go for these storages, which are in the first layer. It's amazing that some people don't protect their elixir. Even though you can upgrade walls with it now, not everyone protects it. And we're going to capitalize on that. We can take all of these storages... Uh, we have spells, clan castle, and all that, but we're not gonna tr we're gonna try to not use spells this raid. With Bam, it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to make the army. Spells take quite a bit longer than that. So, if we can get away with not using a spell, we definitely want to do that. Now, this next storage is covered by an inferno, which I hate. Barbs and archers get chewed up so fast by an inferno, but. I don't want to freeze it, so I'm just going to dump all my minions and hopefully they take care of it. Let's see, let's go, let's go. Going to throw a few archers down and boom, should take care of it just fine. Alright, let's move over to the other side, which for some reason I forgot. There's going to be Teslas on the outside <laughs> over here too, but I totally didn't think of that. So I'm going to take out this mortar here, which is in a, a very strange position I might add take out the stuff in the corner that might distract my troops and then bomb in here on this side kill that barb king and those Teslas that are gonna pop up and get those last two storages now this was a great elixir raid um, right here because these Teslas came up I freaked out threw down a rage spell that I probably didn't need I had wizards in my clan castle which would have tore everything up probably but hey you never know it's okay it's only one spell as long as you don't use more than one spell every couple of raids you should be fine so boom look at that elixir with the loot bonus it's almost uh, half a million elixir <laughs> that's awesome it's so weird farming just elixir now I'm still not quite used to it but I can upgrade walls with it so I gotta do it all right here we go we've got a perfect raid for BAM this is uh, well it could be a little more perfect but it's easy and that's what we want with BAM we want that easy loot a lot of this loot is in the gold mines and elixir pumps and the loot that is in the storages I can get real easy at the bottom so I won't talk too much about this raid because it's pretty much just spam troops around the edges you guys know how to do that but I will talk about this base and all the crazy bases that I see in Crystal and Masters League it's kinda sad to see this um, people that spend a ton of money and seem to have either lost interest or 
I don't know, otherwise just can't really play anymore because think about this guy, I mean he's so behind on so many things, it would be really, really hard to catch up without using gems. I mean this guy might not have the experience to farm his way to a, a good base and I don't mean to criticize but I just think he was misled a little bit into thinking this was what the game is about. You don't want to rush to Town Hall 10 and have to spend money on getting you know a few cool things like he has a, a really high level archer queen that was probably very expensive uh, he has some max defenses but you know only about half of them the rest are quite low level and you gotta wonder I mean how much money this costs and it can't be worth it I mean he's clearly not even playing right now so you know it's sad to see I wish that more people watch YouTube videos when I first started that one of the first things I did was go to the Clash of Clans wiki and then I went to I think I found Chief Pat right after that and f ever since I was like Town Hall 4 I was receiving good knowledge that said don't rush your Town Hall there is bad things will happen I didn't even really understand it but I was told hey it's best if you max everything at your Town Hall and that got ingrained in my mind by the time I was Town Hall 6, I was maxing every wall, every building. By the time I was Town Hall 7 and got the Barb King, I even maxed the Barb King. So I just wish there was more education like that for people. I mean, I know Supercell did add that to the game. The little thing when you upgrade your Town Hall now, it says something vague like, Upgrading your Town Hall will give you less loot. Like, what does that mean? I mean, it doesn't really say clearly, Upgrading your Town Hall will give you put you in a higher like handicap almost a reverse handicap where you are penalized for rating those below you it doesn't say that and I wish everybody knew that and understood what they're getting into when they upgrade their town hall and that um, you know spending a ton of gems in this game I would also like people to know that spending a ton of gems in this game to get to town hall 10 and buy a few cool things that's not going to be fun. I mean, maybe it's fun for some people, but for most, they're going to lose interest and all that money will be lost. So that's my rant for right now. <laughs> thanks for listening, guys. And thanks for watching me upgrade these four walls and do a couple quick BAM raids. I'm so excited that we're almost at 200 walls done. After that, it's the home stretch and uh, we'll be max soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a like and comment if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.